We all have cars of our own or use public transport for traveling one place to another. All these modes of transport are heavily dependent on fossil fuel. Due to the adverse effect fossil fuel have on the environment, electric vehicles are gaining more popularity. However, our cities are filled with motorized vehicles and they are one of the root cause of traffic jam, making our lives even harder. They also come with pretty high price tag. Being a student in Malaysia, which is not equipped for electric vehicles yet, electric cars were not an option for me. So I have been looking for an alternative electric vehicles that will have lesser ecological footprint while being able to help me reach my destination without worrying much about the traffic. Hey everyone, I'm Chaser and welcome to Tech Square. If you have been following this channel, then you already know that I have reviewed several electric vehicles in this channel. Some of them were good, some showed promises and some were just disappointing. So today, in this video, I'll share my opinion on which alternative electric vehicle you can try out for yourself for your daily commuting purposes. So far, I have tried out hoverboards, hover shoes, electric skateboards, and electric scooters. All of these vehicles are battery powered, while provides portability and comfort. Even though these vehicles aren't enough to replace a car, I will share my experience and help you to decide on which vehicle to choose from. Hoverboards, skateboards, and electronic scooters started to become popular in between 2014 and 2015. The reason behind their popularity is due to the technological advancement in lithium-based batteries. As the batteries started to become compact while being capable of storing more energy, the rise of the lithium-based hoverboards, skateboards, and scooters were obvious. Now, they are able to store more charge allowing you to ride them for longer period and cover more distance. In my experience of riding these three types of vehicles, I found them to run from 30 minutes to 2 hours. While the distance covered, the speed is mostly dependent on the motor it is equipped with. In terms of the speed, most hoverboards can achieve 12 to 15 miles of speed while covering 10 to 15 miles of area. Skateboards and scooters can achieve more than 20 miles of top speed while covering 15 to 20 miles on average. Some electric scooters can go even further than that. So when it comes to energy, speed and distance covered, electric scooters will be the winner here. They pack more energy that allows them run for the longer time, while powerful motors allow them to cover more distance and achieve more speed. Although I'm not much of a speed fan and I care more about my safety and security, riding on an electric scooter on top speed is actually safe because of the braking system that they have. Most electric scooters feature three levels of braking, the mechanical braking, the disc brake, and stepping on the pedal. Some electric scooters are even equipped with a regenerative braking which helps in extending the range. Besides, electric scooters have suspension on the wheels, so if you're riding on a bumpy surface, you will not feel any problem. Hoverboards and electric skateboards are not that safe while riding. There are numerous incidents of people getting injured while riding hoverboards. While electric skateboards do have remote controllers to control acceleration and braking, they take longer time to stop, which can cause an accident if situations required for you to stop at once. I have also tried gyro shoes, which are basically hover shoes from gyro. They are in all retrospect hoverboards, but you wear them like skating shoes. They offer maximum speed of 6 miles while covering only 4 miles which is laughable when compared to other three vehicles I talked about before. Now that we are done with the speed, mileage, power, and safety, we can discuss about comfortability. In case of portability, electric scooters, electric skateboards, and hover shoes can be easily carried. Although hoverboards generally weigh as much as an electric scooter, but provides less comfortability while carrying. Compared to its size, hoverboards are pretty heavy, you'll face difficulty while carrying it. While hover shoes are easy to carry, but due to their short battery life, you'll have to carry them for a while, which can be a burden. 
electric skateboard were most easy to carry until foldable electric scooters came in the market. Now you can fold your electric scooter and take them into your home or office easily. Price-wise, you can buy hoverboards, electric skateboards and scooters from $250 on an average. Branded hoverboards, electric skateboards and scooters will set you back up to $2000 or even more. You can find decent electric scooters in between $400 to $700. Now let's discuss practicality. In all retrospect and from a practical point of view, electric scooters are a more practical thing to opt for. They offer better mileage, speed, long time usability while ensuring safety and comfortability. For beating traffic and reaching to your destination, they can be a great option. However, you will have to carry them inside so that they don't get stolen, which can be a problem when you are stopped by a doorman of a building. The solution to that could be an e-bike. There are e-bikes which can go up to 25 miles per hour and since most buildings have bicycle stands so you don't have to carry them inside with you all the time. You can just park them at the stand and lock them so that no one can take them. Albeit, I haven't tried any e-bikes yet so I'm only saying this from my assumption. But in my experience with gyro shoes, hoverboards, electric skateboard and scooter, I prefer electric scooters. I have the Tianran R3S and Tarboant X7 folding electric scooter. Both of them are budget friendly while offering decent mileage and speed. I have reviewed them already and you can find the link to those videos on the description. If I get an electric bike or decide to buy one, then I'll compare it with the electric scooter. But for now, electric scooters are the winner for me. That's all for today. If you liked this video, then like, share and comment your thoughts below. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.